Welcome to our very short tutorial on the easy, easy way to have multiple microphones, as in two or more microphones, work together as one. Uh, unlike a lot of tutorials I've seen uh, over the last year to get this to work, it's way easy. Um, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing you need to do is to download a piece of software called Virtual Audio Cable. Now, if you're thinking to yourself, yeah, I already tried this and it didn't work, please stay with me and just continue to watch because most of the instructions that I've, let me rephrase that, all of the instructions I've received have either been wrong or just way too complex. This is super easy. So, uh, download, download it from this address here. Uh, if you want to Google it, type in Virtual Audio Cable and add VAC to the end. If you don't add VAC, it doesn't come up uh, very highly in the rankings. Okay, so here's the tool. Uh, you can read it at your own leisure. I won't bother with it now. Scroll down until you get to the download, which is right there. Download the trial. Good idea to download that trial and have fun with that. Um, uh, do the install. Make sure you choose the 64-bit version if you're running 64-bit Windows, which of course most of you are. Uh, don't try to install the 32-bit, it's just a pain. Uh, after you've installed it, don't do anything. Don't launch the software. Don't tweak the software. Don't look at the shortcuts. Just leave it alone. And what it's done, after you've done the install, you don't even have to reboot, well, it's probably a good idea. What it's done is it's added in, if you go into your sounds, and the way I get the sounds is to go to your speaker, right click and go to recording devices, or playback devices for that matter. Uh, you'll see that there's a new, sec new item here called line one virtual audio cable. And it's playback, line one virtual audio cable. You don't want to do anything with playback, just leave it alone. Uh, under recording, you can see that I have three microphones and you can see they're bouncing up and down right now. I have two wireless mics, which are the Jabberlink 360s. They are freaking awesome little devices if you uh, haven't used them before. Um, but it doesn't make a difference whether they're wireless or not. The point is they're microphones. And the one that I'm recording is also a uh, Jabberlink. Uh, it's a Jabberlink 410 right at the bottom there. Um, not important. I'm going to use the Jabberlink 410 to record this audio. And I'm going to use the other microphone to prove that you can merge two of them together. So I'm going to put this one and this one together. So let's do it. Uh, I'm going to double click on the first one and I'm going to go to listen. I'm going to click the listen to this device. And I'm going to change the default playback to the new virtual audio cable. I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to go to the other microphone and I'm going to do the same thing. Listen, listen to this device, change it to virtual audio cable. You might think, well, it's already done. Yeah, that's because I did this earlier when I was uh, getting set up. So both of them are set to listen to this device and push that sound through to the virtual audio cable. Then you can simply, what you want to do is right click on the virtual mic and, and uh, select set as default device. So now if I go to my sound recorder, which I'll just bring up and slide in the middle here, and I move this down, I click start recording. Uh, it should be recording my audio and we should be fine. Let's give it a shot. So I'm gonna click stop recording now. Actually, I'll talk into one mic like this. I'm going to go to the other mic and talk like this, like stop recording. I'm going to save it on the desktop and I'm going to play it. Uh, it should be recording my audio and we should be fine. Oh my God, it works! I'm so freaking happy! Give this round. So I'm going to click stop recording now. Actually, I'll talk into one mic like this. Talk like this. Pretty cool, huh? That's it. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Uh,